Before I move on to ownership, I want to show you the issue of shadowing in functions. In fact, you can use it on other types as well. Since our value was created in the stack of memory, we were able to print it with the println macro after the function was used. We will cover the details of this in the stack and heap lesson. To put it briefly, because our variable is created in the stack region, a copied value is given to the function. Since the operations on the stack are very fast, the cost of copying is not considered in such primitive data types. To prove that they are different, let's make the function parameter mutable and run it again by increasing its value. As you can see, it worked without any problems. However, when we enter a variable of string type created in the heap region of the memory similar to our function here, it will exhibit a different behavior. When we write the variable we use in the function with the clown method, we reach the first solution of this error. As you can see, our error has been correct. But I must say that this method is a costly operation. Therefore, you should take these issues into consideration when using it. Let's delete the clone method and examine the error together. In Rust, every value has an owner. There can only be one owner at a time. When the owner goes out of scope, the value is dropped. Since the ownership of our variable is passed to the function, it will be valid for the lifetime of the function. Our variable cannot be accessed since the value is dropped from the moment the function is terminated. We will discuss this in more detail in the ownership section. Now, let's fix the error with our second solution, shadowing. We can solve such problems with shadowing. Subject to, shadowing also needs to be considered according to the place where it is used. In cases where the wrong variable is used or changed, it can lead to undesired errors. For this reason, we will examine other solutions by addressing the ownership issue in Rust programming. Before we talk about ownership, we need to talk about stake and heap.